Looks like this is the end of the line. I must be getting close now. You said that in the middle of the last episode. Yeah, we're back here, I know. But, well, it's about time we get ready to fight. I'm fully ready. I have practiced by Zen. I'm going to kick her ass. I could just be invincible be a douche, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to at least make it an honest effort. So welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. The show is MJ406, and in the finale, it's time to take on Risky Boots. Hold it right there, Risky! Right on schedule. I feared a goody two-shoes like you might find a way to reverse the effects of the dark magic. Is it affects? Maybe. I assure you, the process is now irreversible. Where's the dynamo, Risky? Ho ho ho! You'll see soon enough. It's in the tender loving care of my tinker bats. My men have been working tirelessly to unlock the dynamo's full potential. So they have, huh? It'll be beyond anything your short-sighted uncle could e ever even dream of. Oh, God. But until their work is complete, I won't allow you to interfere! Oh, shit! Risky Boots! Queen of the Seven Seas! So it's a battle with Risky Boots. The first actual battle with her since frickin' the first Shantae game. Oh, God. So, yeah. He's about Risky again. Jesus! And there are her pirate weapons that you got to use in Pirate's Curse. Well, she'll be using them on you in this battle. Her pistol, her scimitar, and her hat, of course. She has them all. So you kind of get an idea of how Risky plays by watching this, actually. Which makes a lot of sense. Just watch out for her attack. She's a wide variety. Well, her pattern is actually exactly the same. Oh, no. She does a little more in Hardcore. But yeah, she uses the weapons a lot to her as well. She has an anchor now. Like, what the hell? Oh, and hey, enough battling me. Battle my minions. God damn you. <laughs> and did she use her freaking cannonball to throw fire at you? Like, god damn. She takes this fight fully seriously. And she comes down like that. See? She has, like, all of Shantae's abilities from the freaking uh, Pirate's Curse. I mean, they are Risky's weapons, so that would make sense. So you do, like, a bomb bullet and then just regular a three-spread bullet? What the hell? Oh, and don't get hit by our scimitar attack. That thing is powerful. Like, trust me, that attack is brutal. She does, she does more brutal attacks in the hardcore version of this fight, and, well, she doesn't stand around nearly as much. So, yeah. Either way... Just avoid her enough, keep whipping her, and you got her down. It's really all you gotta do. And with that, Risky Boots is down. This is the end, Risky Boots. At least I think. Give up! Ha! You're too late. Oh no! I am? How? I just be Alright. Now I'll introduce you to the final phase of my plan. You've gotta be kidding me. Look at this plan B. I wonder. Hmm. The whoa! What? That looks like a freaking brain monster, mechanical bullcrap thing. Behold! What is it? I have no idea what it could be, though. The new and improved Dynamo. So she stole Uncle Mimic's designs to modify and make it a monster. What have you done to it? My Tinker Bats have increased its potential in every way. My moment of victory has arrived. Watch as I turn your precious genie realm inside out. <laughs> Damn. She really wants to take out the genie realm. Why? She's going over the gateway to the genie realm. I've got to destroy the dynamo before it's too late. Here we go. The Tinker Brain. The dino destruction. The final boss is pathetically easy. Notice how I run around and is, uh, well, that screw is getting green and coming loose. When I stand still, it stops. Hmm. Let's keep running around. Oh boy, look at that. Your core showed up because I unscrewed you a little bit. Yeah. This fight on hardcore can actually be pretty brutal though. You notice he's throwing gears. On hardcore, he throws a lot more of them at you. And well, let's just say that, yeah. That could be a problem. There's also that electricity attack you saw. I don't remember how much damage it does 
Oh god, and there's lasers. I don't remember how much damage it does to you in this, because I never let it damage me. But in hardcore, that those electricity lines are instant death. So in hardcore, do not get hit by the electricity. And it spans all the electricity every it spans the entire arena every time. So once you see them glowing, get ready to strike. Move the hell out of the way in hardcore. You will be dead. You will be straight up dead. It's brutal. But well. That's the way this boss is. See? Once they're powered up, they're ready to charge and attack you. I don't really want to get struck in case I do end up getting killed in one blow. I'd rather not waste time like that. Aha! Got him. And now you're done. Well, yep, just go around both ways to make it vulnerable. Take out screws and you win. Yep, that's seriously it. Seriously, the risky fight was so great and then they freaking ruin the final boss with that. Then again, well, I guess it really wasn't meant to be much. Risky was more of the bigger threat. Ew, that was close. I deactivated the dynamo just in time. And the genie roll was saving sound. That's good. Oh god, they're talking to me again. Huh? That voice. You've battled valiantly and accomplished so much. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, the genie realm person portal thing. Daughter of the genies. It's you! You've risked your lifetime and you risked your life time and again to fight for justice and service to others. We time and time again don't cut me off. And we are forever grateful for your kindness and your loyalty. Alright. My magical power. Oh, wait. Am I... Oh, I'm being teleported somewhere, aren't I? Yep. Ooh. This whole place started with a genie. Ooh, look at the genies. So they're alive and well. On behalf of the entire genie realm, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Yes, it is. It is, in fact, the genie realm, I think. Or why wouldn't it be? Unfortunately, uh-oh. <gasps> the corruption of our magic has begun. Do what you must to ensure peace. So this was her plan. Ho-ho-ho! <laughs> I've finally done it! The very heart of the realm of magic! The power of the genies will be mine. So that's what she was... Holy crap, that's actually a very lofty goal. Damn! Now, do my bidding! Submit to me as your absolute ruler! Damn, she learned the Power Master's mistakes. Controlling the genies? Yo! And that's what the Dynamo was all meant to do. She's corrupting the genie realm. Oh, damn! And it worked! No. That's bad! That's really bad! It worked! The power of the genies is mine! And the world will bow before me! She gets a good evil laugh. <laughs> Very satisfying. I'm glad you're happy, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. I don't have any choice. Before Risky can claim their power, I have to do it. I have to destroy the genie realm at any cost. The whole realm? Jesus. So here's the true final boss. And well, find the vulnerable genie and turn it into... Whatever that ball is. And try to fire it into the, uh, shield. This fight really isn't any different on hard mode, except they attack a little more frequently. That's about it. Like, that's really the only difference I can think of. Just, you know, make sure to stay... Ow! Stay alive. You have to get it to go around this barrier. It'll circle around quite a few times. You can get it while it's moving, but it's harder. Eventually, it'll stop. But, you know, to make it faster, try to get it when it's moving. And don't let it hit the barrier or it will do nothing. And the slowdown prayer just tells you, ha ha ha, you suck. God damn it. Ah, over there. They only have two kinds of attacks to throw at you, though, so it's not too terrible. Just make sure to know when to dodge. The light balls are the ones that spread out around them and do that. The dark ones are the ones that shoot the dark energy waves around the whole arena. Or whatever you want to call this. 
damn it! I'm always just a bit off. Okay, over there. I got gotcha, you. I see you. Ah, I was gonna stop anyway. That wasn't gonna be impressive. Huh? All right, and go. Got it. Nice. All right. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get in there. It's going fast though. Probably can't time it pretty well, but well, yeah. All right, and in you go. Jesus. How could she win against five genies, though? In theory, she should easily lose this. It's either that or something weird happened with frickin' Risky's plan here. It's like the genies are, like, using their own willpower to fight using their full strength against me. I don't know. I would highly doubt that. But the logic would set suggest full genies would be able to take out a half genie. Multiple genies would be able to take out a single half genie, no problem. Wow. Good shot. <laughs> Just get in there. Just gotta keep pegging this thing. This fight really isn't any different in hardcore mode. It's the same exact fight, it's just a little more damaging. And you gotta do a little more damage yourself. But, well, once you shoot enough energy balls, that's the end of the final boss. Better than the fight before, but still not as good as the risky fight, in my opinion. But there we go. That's the end. Fool! Blasted no good! Wretched meddling runt! You've ruined everything! My perfect, perfect plan! I almost had it all, but now I'll have the satisfaction of sending you straight to a fiery grave! <laughs> so, she still wins, apparently? Ha 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 ha! You bitch. <laughs> She'll take even the little victories. That's a good villain for you. I've got to get out of here! Somehow. Oh! The hamster. Huh. Huh? What's this? Well, the zombie hamster is at least still alive. Good. Wouldn't it not die, though? Hang on tight! We're getting out of here! Hurry the hell up! So, now all that's left is to escape Risky's hideout. And while you think it may just be a simple cutscene, don't worry, they took some inspiration from the frickin' original Shantae as well. You beat Risky at the end of that, you have to escape, you gotta do it here too. But don't worry. If you manage to fall or if you manage to fall here, you just have to do this segment over. You don't have to frickin' like battle the bosses again or anything. Cause there's no damage thing for you or anything. It's just like the opening section of the game, it doesn't matter how many times you get hit. If you can make it to the end, you're good. And I'll just let you repeat. If you fall. So use the frickin' hooks and all that stuff. This advanced sliding section. Before the friggin' fire or lava, whatever the hell it is, catches up to you. As long as you hang on. Also, don't jump off the hooks. Just let them carry you on. I learned that the hard way. Because your movement gets all thrown off if you try to jump. Ow! God damn it. Ow! Oh, God! Whoops. Was not ready to jump. I forgot about that. So, yep, if you happen to fall, don't worry. They'll throw you right back at the beginning of the segment. So let's try that again. My bad. Don't worry, it's not randomly gen- Oh, if it was randomly generated, that would have been brutal. But it would have made for an exciting finish every single time. You never would have known how to get out. But they kept it the same. Probably better off that way. Because randomly generating it could probably cause some issues. Or make it too easy, depending. That's a lot of wheels there. Well, so generally stay back. Oh, and of course, just like just like I always been saying, hardcore mode. This is even faster. So you know, not much faster, but a bit. Just make sure you stay on. Just don't let yourself get caught. Ow! Taking damage won't really affect you much, so you don't. Oh God damn it! I did that again. Son of a bitch! I had to scratch my head. Ah! Come on. Can you at least throw obstacles at me when I don't need to scratch? Ugh, itches are so infectious. God damn it. I wish people knew how itches work so we can freaking stop it. We learned to stop extreme itches and rashes and shit. But just random itches are like impossible. They just randomly happen for no reason. But that's one of the biggest mysteries of the human body. Itching. What is it? 
What causes it? It's uh, extreme itching. Extreme itching makes sense because it's like body discomfort. It's like your skin's way of trying to fight off a. I was gonna say fight off infection. Or do like something happen to your skin? I don't know. Either way, though. Itching's like the biggest sensation of the body that most people just can't figure out. Or anybody, rather. Alright, pay attention to jumping. We're almost near the end. I'll know when the last segment is, because I'll know when the uh, ending is. God damn it. At least there's no more cogs coming after me. Ooh. Almost missed that. Oh, thank goodness they let me hook on despite going off the side of the screen a little bit. Oh no, I did I make it? I hope I made it. Oh please let me, please tell me I made it. Please tell me I made it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh don't worry. It's Shante. She escapes like magic. She's fine. There we go. What are you looking at in excitement? You're looking away with the explosion. I I don't get it. <laughs> they're always excited when the flies like, ooh, look at that! Hey, look at that! And they're flying with the explosion like, yo, look at the light reflecting from Risky's high on to that. Isn't that amazing? I think the hot I think the explosion would be more exciting. I mean it's just me. But woo! He made it barely. That was a close call. Too close. Thanks for the lift, Sky! Someone's gotta keep an eye on you. And here comes everybody else to congratulate me. Looks like Secret Way is safe from evil once again. Yep, thanks for our half genie hero. God damn it! <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you guys! Hold up there! Oh, the mayor! What do you want? The uh, skull tower is more or less repaired, and the, the position of Guardian Genie is still open. Are you trying to ask Shantae something, mayor? Oh, okay. I can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Will you come back? Free, please? I never even left, you dick! Oh, I thought I was gonna have to put on that little red outfit and start dancing around, you know? Ew. <laughs> oh, Mayor, please don't give me nightmares! So I guess I won't do that then. Yeah. Anyway, everyone say hello to the new Guardian Genie of Skull Town! Yay! Fuck off, I'm hungry. I think he made an excellent choice. Kids! Oh, Uncle Mimic. Thank goodness you made it out in one piece. When I saw the eruption, I feared I lost you. I'm fine. I think when I am safe, thanks to you guys. Yeah, I helped out a lot this time. Feeling pretty heroic, you know. Think I'll start dojo. Start training up the next round of heroes. Gotta dream big. Huh, oh, an actual lofty goal. I'm going to take off too. My brothers, Abner and Poe. They're thinking about renovating that old mansion up north. How cool! I'm going to help them out, but after that... Well, I think I'm going to find the zombie caravan and travel a bit. I miss my wagon, and I want to see more of this the world, and you should come with me. Zombie road trip? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let me chew on it. Oh, God, no. Her putty is spreading you. No! Take good care of Dookie. Huh? Poe's hamster. Dookie? It has a name? Huh. I'd better get going, too. I need to fetch wrench and get him cleaned up. You never did tell me how he managed to grow so huge. What's your secret? It's a special diet, salted caramel for birds. Rents goes nuts for them. Wow, so people really do like it. <laughs> I see. I think I'm going to set him free for a while so we can spend some time with his family. Knowing Wrench, he won't be gone long. He's crazy about you. Oh my, that's a, and I'm crazy about him right back. Oh God, uh, are you condoning bestiality? Oh no, with birds? That's even weird that, <sighs> people are have such weird obsessions. My, my. What an adventure you've had! I'm sorry about the dynamo, Uncle! I have to apologize about something every single time I beat the game! No, no, that's alright, I'm used to it. How about you? Are you okay? What really happened back there? Risky used the dynamo to change the genie realm from good to evil. For a short while, I was actually there, in the genie realm with them. It's something I've always dreamed of. But to stop Risky, I had to... Well, they're all gone now. Hmm, I'm sorry. I know you only did what was required, what you had to do, understand? I'm sure your mother would be very proud of you. You know, if she were still alive, but you killed her. What the fuck? We're all proud of her. What? Who? Huh. How the hell did that work? She acted selflessly to put the needs of others before her own. Then, the genie realm is safe? Yes, 
by purifying our magic and turning it against the machine. You saved us all. Ah, the polarizer. Wow, I guess your polarizer did the trick, Uncle. Ha <laughs> ha, so it did. And what about my mother? Is she safe too? Your mother's alive and well in the genie realm. She has devoted herself to the protection of your world. For all you know, I could be your mother, but I'm not going to say anything. I'll leave the mystery to you. She and the other genies must remain here, where their combined powers can ward off the greater evils that would seek to enter your world. Oh god, there's worse than Risky? And the Power Master? Oh god! This is why she had to leave so long ago, along with the other genies. Or it could be from the world where the Power Master was. It was to protect- it was to protect us? Yes. So you could grow up under the safety and care of your uncle. She wanted you to know this, but only when you were old enough to understand the meaning of her sacrifice. I understand! She also wants you to know that you are never alone. There's a special magic, a gift that she has placed upon your heart. Huh? For real? Your family is never as far away as you might think. Take comfort in knowing that she is with you always. And she loves you very much. Let me guess, the genie rubs in her heart, isn't it? That's what that would make it sound like. And now, I must return to the genie realm. If you see my mother, tell her that I understand what she's done for us, and I love her right back! I will tell her. Good luck. And to you! Come on, Uncle! Where are we going? To celebrate, of course! And to find you a less... a new, less dangerous hobby! Ha! Huh, that reminds me! I recently unearthed a design for something called a bicycle! For our next round, I'm gonna build one for you! What the fuck? What the hell's a bicycle? Can I ride it? What? Wait! Okay! Hey, Uncle! Get the hell back here! I can't leave you to our devices, can I? Until next time, daughter of the genies, goodbye and farewell. So, the last game kind of uncovered there's a possible mystery that could be involving her dad, but we don't know. Now there's the idea that, well, Shantae's mother's out there with the rest of the genies are protecting Sequin Land from greater threats. Because of course they are. And that's the end of Shantae Half Genie Hero! Alright! So yeah, I really do enjoy this one. Well, it's definitely not the masterfully crafted game like Pirate's Curse was. It it still works out pretty well. The platforming, I I do say, like some of the level design I think is like the best the series has had. Makes some nice difficult sections, but well, it's just not the not having an open world kind of takes away part of what made it special, you know? Oh, Jade Kaufman did write to answer the danger. And he did pretty much everything for the music. But yeah, while I don't think it's as strong as the series, it's still a pretty good game. So, you know, I really do enjoy the series as a whole. And this was just another pr reminder that, well, it can take some different turns, but, well, it still has the same heart it's always had. Oh, and here's some stuff for the backers, the guest enemy designers, some game contributors for some of their faces in the game, and some art as well. Oh, that's right, some characters have their faces put in the game. I guess it's some of the uh, plot important characters. And these are all the artists that did stuff for the... Uh, the art rooms and all that, but I'll show it off later. And here's all the backers that hit, like, the $30 limit, I think. So there's a lot of them, too. But if I sit here and watch this, it's gonna take forever, so... Sorry, but... Just like... Well... My name's not in here, so I don't really have much to go on for this, unfortunately. Because my name would be here if it was there, but it's not. I know, because I checked. I don't think I could... Nope, can't rewind. Okay. By the way... Just like with me, I was able to help fund this game for $15. That's how I got this and all the main DLC for free. So, I was really happy I did. But, just to, just to reiterate the point, thank you everybody that contributed to this game. Without your contributions, this game wouldn't have been possible, you know? I really enjoy it, so... I'm really happy that enough people were able to contribute to this. Like, I originally contributed to this back when, uh... When, uh, Risky's Revenge, I was playing that on my phone. They had, like, a promotion to have that available for free. And every time you, uh, start up the game, they had a little, um, uh, little promotion thing to talk about their Kickstarter. It was part of why they offered the game for free on iPhone for a while. I played through Risky's Revenge and was like, yo, this game's fun! Alright, so I decided to contribute to it, enjoy the series. And then I got to play Pirate's Curse, and well, ha! That more than solidified my love for this series. Like, amongst the indie game franchises that are going around, this is probably my favorite amongst the ones that are really sticking. 
Oh, and look at all the people that were born during development. Ah, oh, young children. Your names will be remembered forever. And all the other special names and other people that helped out. Well, yeah, that's the end of the game. Thank you, Jante. I'm glad I played it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't really know how to respond to that well. But yep, there you go. Jante F. Genie Hero. I'm glad people were able to kickstart this. Support enough, and I'm very happy for it. Oh, my playtime is a little over four and a half hours. I missed the 100% speedrun ending, but that's okay. If it weren't for the talking, I easily could have gotten it. But that's fine. So, got 100% item collection. Again, remember to make sure those dances from the Cobra Lady. From the Cobra Lady, trade them both at least once to have them on you and get them in, into your uh, menu. So, well, just like with Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse, based on your item collection percentage and playtime, well, you get an ending wallpaper. I got the one for the plain 100% ending here. So, yeah, that's all I got. But, yeah, there you go. By the way, these images are locked in the art gallery until you get the endings. So, the good thing is you can look up the ending screens as much as you want once you get the ending. Which is nice. So, yep, this is the plain 100% ending. 100% speedrun would be, of course, doing under 4 hours for 100%. But I'll go over that in more detail in a later episode. But for next time... Oh, yeah. And you get one just for beating the game in general. So that's the one just for beating the game no matter what. So I got two of the endings. The other one would just be the speedrun and the speedrun 100% ending. Which, unfortunately... Well, I don't have that one set up, so I have to replay the game. Or I can go to my complete file and show you the images, which is my plan. So, yeah. Shantae, there you go. That's all we have for Shantae Half Genie Hero for this episode. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching, and I'm really happy that I got to play this game. Because, oh, I really do enjoy the Shantae series. But, yep. Here, you, they give you a star for every time you completed the game. Every time you completed it. As in, like, a full file run. Once you beat it with one file... You can choose to start up from new, but I'm not going to do that, because that'd be crazy. But, yep. See, I got there just a little under 420. Oh, damn it! One day off! Fuck! I'm kidding. But, yeah, that's all for this episode and the ending of the game. A lot of crazy battles, and Shantae ended up saving the genie realm from Risky's plan. Damn, Risky came with a hell of a plan, too. But, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not doing Risky's mode yet. I'll save that for another time. Either late this year or sometime next year is likely when I'll be doing it, if I had to guess. But, yep, that's for another day. But anyway, that's the end of the game. I hope you all enjoyed it once again. We do have bonus episodes coming up, because, uh, well, I do have a couple things I want to show off, and no, I'm not doing a speed run like this. No! I have the ending ready, so I don't need to do that. But I'll discuss that more in detail next time. So come back for the bonus episodes, and well, we'll go over some of the extra content I just haven't gone over. So come back, and we'll put it all to good use. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you all for watching once again. I can't stop saying it! I need to come up with something new! Um, uh, enjoy your life! Damn it!